Hello everyone and welcome to my let's play of Until Dawn. Now every video I make is going to start with an intro. Most of them are going to be about no more than one minute. This one's going to be pretty long time, about five minutes at least, maybe more than that, but please don't skip it as I'm going to go over a lot of important info that you don't want to miss. So where do I start? Um, Until Dawn is basically a survival horror heavy rain. And that's the best way to put it. I guess if you don't know what Heavy Rain is, and I guess I'll have to explain it a little more. Uh, this game is about eight characters who are up in a snow, a snowy mountain during a blizzard, and they're being chased by a serial killer. It's supposed to be a homage to horror movies of last, well, millennium. I don't want to say a specific decade, but it's supposed to be about a parody sort of or an illusion, whatever the word is, I don't know, but it's supposed to be like old slasher films, and, but it's like an interactive movie, like Heavy Rain was, so, uh, I read about this game back in, I think, January, I think it was first in Game Informer, I thought it looked pretty cool, and I checked it out, and I decided, you know what, this is a day one buy for me, and so, I got it, um, there's a lot of day one buy this year for me this was my first one I was gonna get the order 1886 but then as soon as the bad reviews came in I decided well no because we all know how that went so obviously I didn't get it but the other two are Star Wars Battlefront 3 because Battlefront 2 is one of my favorite all-time childhood games and came out like a decade ago so I have to get that that's day one and midnight release if they they're probably gonna have one and Black Ops 3 because I get Call of Duty every year and always go to the midnight release. So um, I've been really excited for this game for a while now. Uh, there was actually a couple weeks ago I wasn't thinking about it because there was one other thing that I was really excited and that was a movie that came out just two weeks ago and if you don't know I guess I'll just tell you this movie was straight out of Compton, and I watched. I read about it last August, so that was over a year ago. I read about it that it was coming out this August, but a buddy of mine from school showed me the trailer back in springtime, and we made plans to go see it on release day, and so that's what we did. Well, not release day, uh, Sunday, so two days after it came out, I went with him, my cousin, and a couple of friends from. Or, well, yeah, him, because he's from school, and then another friend from school and my cousin. We all went to see it, and I got to tell you, watch it. It's It was epic. It was a great movie. Probably one of my all-time favorites, no doubt. Maybe not my favorite, but there's no question. It's in easily my top ten, probably my top five, too. But, anyway, because of that, even though I was always looking forward to this, I wasn't really thinking about this much because all my excitement was focused on that movie. But once that was over, as soon as it, I watched that, my excitement shifted focus onto this and been really excited to get this. Now I finally got it and yeah, now I started this and I've been planning to start a Let's Play for a long while now. It's a good, probably going to be a good game to start on now. Here's some info on how I'm going to work this because technically I'm like no good with uh, well, technical stuff, but I'm going to try to do this the best I can since it's my first, but I'm going to try to do it the best I can. We're going to have some fun with it. Um, so this game, now I only get 15 minutes on the PS4 of footage, so obviously I don't want to play for just 15 minutes, so I'm going to make probably two or three videos a day and upload them all at once, so I get 30 or 45 minutes. I don't want to do four for an hour because that's just too much work. Maybe on weekends when I get more time, I'll upload longer ones, but uh, for weekdays when I have school and work, I don't have much time, so I'm just going to do no more than three. Maybe two if I don't have enough time, but 45 minutes is pretty good because this game is estimated to be around nine hours in length, so not fairly long, but it's required multiple playthroughs now. It's, like I just said, multiple playthroughs. One is not going to give you the whole story or anything. I'm only doing this play on one playthrough and that's it. 
even though it's probably going to be fun, I'm only doing my first playthrough, and that's it. So, once it's over, it's over. Now, I also did pre-order this, so I have a bonus chapter that I don't know where it fits in the story. I don't know if it's at the beginning, middle, end, or maybe it's just total spin-off that has nothing to do with it. Well, I know it has something to do with it, because it's got two of the characters that I think are in the main game, but I'm not sure where it fits in the story, but I'm just going to do it at the very end, so once you see the credits rolling, don't, uh, make sure you look for another video, because that's not the end of my playthrough, I'm going to do that chapter afterwards, I'm not sure how long it is, but I'm going to do that last, so don't think it's over just because you watched the last chapter. Um, so that's pretty much it, um, also, in case you, uh, couldn't tell by now, I like to talk a lot, so I'm going to turn subtitles on, so in case I'm talking too loud, you can, I don't like subtitles much, but for your sake, I'll turn them on, so you can read in case I'm talking a little too loud, I'll try not to, but I'm going to probably talk a lot during this game, so, now I'm sure by now you probably tired of me rambling, and I... I kind of am too, and I want to play this game just as much as you want to watch me, so let's start on it. The butterfly effect. story. My story is one of many possibilities. So there's already been a lot of videos on this and I tried not to watch them so I don't get anything spoiled so I don't know a whole lot but takes place up in this creepy ass mountain that um if there's anything it reminds me of I would have to say Dreamcatcher because they were up in the snowy ass mountains and shit and there was well it was just snowy out Josh. Okay, so I think I'm in control of it now. Uh, oh, a couple things I forgot to mention. There are a couple ways I could screw this up, which I'm going to try not to. But the first way is I, I'm going to try my best. I can't stop this at exactly 15 minutes, so it might be a little shorter than that because I don't want to stop it at a cutscene and have it cut off and miss some part of the next one so I'm gonna try my best to start like well when it's like this so I'm not doing anything and you don't miss anything that's not a major problem I guess but the other big thing is I have to 
I'm sure a lot of you had this issue. But I have to double tap to re start recording, but I have to hold the button and then save video to save it. If I double tap it, it'll delete everything I just did, and then I won't have it. And normally that's bad enough for a normal game, but not a whole big deal because I can go back and just do it again, just 15 minutes lost or maybe longer depending on if I have to get back to my point or not. But this game, that's going to be a problem if I do it because it, it auto saves a lot so you don't go back and fix your mistakes. So I won't be able to go back if I do that. So hopefully if that happens, I can figure, I'll try and figure something out. But yeah, that's going to be a problem if it happens. But mm. We get the process we're gonna come to it. So now controller. Oh well, there's one thing that's different from Heavy Rain already. I can walk with a stick instead of stupid ass R2. I pick motion controls, so you look again. Oh my God! What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Intervention time. I read it again, I can, but no need for it. Yeah, like I said, every rain, use R2 was the walk button, and then the stick changed the direction, which made no sense. I mean, I know there's not a lot of buttons to use, so I want to make use of it, but come on, that was just stupid. Okay, so let's figure out the controls. Okay, R1 does something. character traits this menu is some gameplay thing I don't know what it's gonna do but this I never noticed before in any of the other gameplay videos I watched so R2 does nothing R2 does nothing, no buttons seem to do anything. Does the touchpad do anything? I don't know. Locked. Luckily this I'm glad I had a long intro because this first video is actually going to be a little bit of a test too for the sound because I don't know if my voice is too loud, the TV is too loud and you can't hear one of them or the TV is so loud it overlaps into my mic and causes overlapping voice which I've done before and that's really crappy so luckily I'll when I watch this I can readjust for that if necessary but I think I have it at a decent level. Get up. Oh, motion control. Ooh. I can raise my hand, I can lower my hand, I can turn it right, I could flick it up a little. Well, those motion controls are pretty fluid so far. What the hell? Did he make two notes of the same? Did I look at that already? Was that the note I looked at? I guess it was. Jeremiah Craig. Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Oh. I got your number. Glad you could Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Okay, let's see if I can pause this. Oh, I can. That's good. Well, that works for, you know, I don't have to stop in the middle of a cutscene. So, I guess this will end the first video I still got. I guess I'll do two more. So, yeah, watch this as soon as you're done with it. So, now that I'm at 14.45, okay. See you guys in the next video.